Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9, The Bigger Picture. It's never an easy decision to place a loved one in a nursing home. And for many families, the constant worry of how they're cared for is stressful. Tonight, 16 by 9's Leslie Roberts brings you a story about how one daughter went to extremes to expose how her mother was being treated. And what she caught on tape is disturbing. This is the video that's causing shock and outrage for London, Ontario family. It's a video that no son or daughter should have to see of their 89-year-old mother handled carelessly. Oh, we were horrified. We were horrified, absolutely. Janet Brumell can barely watch this video of her own mother. It makes you sick. This fragile elderly woman you see here struggling to stand was a beloved mother and grandmother. Her name is Jean Holden. She was born in Montreal in 1920. She was a graduate of McGill University with a Bachelor of Science. She was a woman ahead of her time. My mother could be very feisty. She just had lots of spirit, lots of spirit. And uh, she didn't take no lying down, so to speak. But in this video, this once vibrant woman is not even strong enough to fight back or speak out for herself. And what happened to her in this nursing home has her family feeling angry and guilty. Oh, it's too hard. Hard for Janet to talk about after making a hard decision of placing her mom in a home that offered 24-hour care. She said she had no choice after watching her mom's health slowly deteriorate. Janet came here to Longworth Long-Term Care. It's in London, Ontario, where she thought her mom was going to get top-rate care. It would look clean. It's new. But then she started to wonder about her choice. You'd be sitting at the little coffee thing in the front hall, and they would wheel coffins by with a dead person in it to the hearse. They wheel them right by the coffee area. Wow. Isn't that awful? And then came some serious care issues. I noticed she was all hot and everything. I said, Mom, what's going on? And she, there she was. They'd gotten her, had given her a shower, put her nightie on, and then put her clothes on top of her nightie so it's at bedtime at 7 o'clock they wouldn't have to they just take off her clothes and she's all nightied up. And then came the bruises. She would complain about the night staff um, being rough, which I found bruises, which I pointed out to them on her wrists at the beginning. Janet complained over and over again and started visiting her mother more and more. That's why I had to go all the time. It was just constantly checking up. One time they sent her to emerge at eight in the morning. I was at work and I hear this message. They didn't phone my daughter, they didn't call my cell phone, nothing. And then the final straw. I walked into her room one afternoon and found her soaking wet with her underwear around her ankles, lying in her bed, soaking wet. Now why? That's finished me. That's what got me to buy the camera. They s tried to insinuate she did it to herself. This woman could not roll her underwear down around her ankles. Janet was so outraged, she went out and purchased a hidden camera. It cost her $700. I place it here like this between two photographs. Okay. okay, so now this is the worker who's obviously getting the bed ready. And um, she's obviously, I guess, thinking, how am I going to get her into bed? Janet's giving us a play-by-play -play of this disturbing video she captured with her hidden camera that she placed inside her mother's room. So she leans her up against the bed here trying to, and puts her arm against her there to try and hold her up. My mother cannot support her own weight and she crashes to the floor. 89-year-old Jean Holden falls hard, and then watch what her personal support worker does next. She picks up poor Jean Holden like a rag doll and just tosses her on the bed. She then continues to get Jean ready for bed like nothing happened. This is the part that gets me. See, she's looking at the door. Wait a minute. I just, oh, my God. I, I, I wanted to... Mm. I wanted to crucify this woman. There is a lot more activity on the tape, but according to Janet, it takes 38 minutes before the registered nurse on duty comes in the room. Why did she then proceed to get her ready for bed? She didn't call anybody in at that point. I, I have to presume my mother was unresponsive. That's why she called. This is the RN. Janet says this video of her mother is very important because had she not had it, this is what the nursing home wanted her to believe. They left a message on my machine, your mother has fallen, please call us. The girl said, oh yes, the personal support worker, your mother was in her wheelchair when she went to the bathroom to get a face cloth in that time, that 20 seconds she was away, your mother fell out of her wheelchair. 
The very next day, Janet confronted the home with her video. I said, I understand my mother's fall was from falling out of her wheelchair while the nurse got her a face cloth. Yes. I said, well, not so. I have it on camera. And she just looked at me like deer in headlights. And the representative she spoke to was furious about the camera. They treated me like I was the criminal. They told me to take the camera out of the room. I said, this is legal. I checked with a lawyer. They said, well, no, it's not. The reality is that having a hidden camera in a home is a legal gray zone. I checked with a lawyer. He said it was not illegal to do it. It's not legal either. You see, there's that sort of gray area, and that's my mission in this, is to have it be allowed that if the family or the residents, power of attorney, whatever, want a camera in the room, they should be allowed. The worker was fired, and just three weeks later, Jean Holden was dead. I just felt badly, you know. She'd had the last, the last six months was, real, or even year, was really unhappy really unhappy and I feel very guilty, very guilty that she had to go through this. In search of answers, we took Janet's story straight to the Seniors Home Administration. Longworth Residence is owned by Sifton Properties. It operates four homes in all, mostly in London, but also one in Mississauga, Ontario. They're well respected in the industry. General Manager Dale Pino agreed to talk to us. You know what is on that video and you know that there was an email that was sent out that contradicted and almost she felt she was lied to about what happened to her mother. Um, I think it's always a disappointment when we can't meet people's needs and um, you know we're very sorry that she felt that she had no other recourse. Can you explain why the email says something different than the video camera? Uh, I'd like to be able to clarify that but I really can't comment on that. Why not? Um, again, there are privacy um, issues that are at play here. Privacy issues, the same reasons the home asked Janet to remove the camera, but it's to protect the employee's privacy, not Janet's mom's. What are you afraid of with these cameras? I think there's a very real concern that without um, any controls on the information uh, that may be captured uh, by a hidden camera, that there's the opportunity for that to be exploited. We want to make sure that we um, don't have anything that would disrupt our atmosphere of trust and care in the building. It's not an isolated incident. Betty Miller heads Guardian Angels. It's a nonprofit group that advocates for better care in seniors' homes. You have to have a lot of compassion and understanding um, to work with, with older people, with the elderly. Like Janet, Betty says, you have to take the care of your loved ones into your own hands. You have to be there. Ask questions. You have every right to know the medications your loved one's on, know what they're doing. Um, so come, come surprise visits. Don't, don't say when you're coming. You can come any part of the day or night, that sort of thing. And um, install a camera. Definitely. For when you're not there. That's right. We then took Janet's story and the hidden camera videotape to Ontario's Minister of Health and Long-Term Care, Deb Matthews. I think it's important that we all have confidence that our, our parents, our grandparents are, are being well looked after. So uh, as I say, I, I need to learn more about it, but it certainly has captured my interest. Betty says without the backup of camera footage, families are afraid to speak out for fear of retaliation against their loved ones in the seniors' homes. And she says with the aging population, she fears it's going to get worse. The issue isn't going away, and Betty says cameras are part of the solution. Let's put in the cameras. The good workers have nothing to fear. Nothing. It's a necessary thing to do, to put in a camera. It gave peace of mind, strangely enough. You know? And it's a very sad state of affairs for, these, for the elderly. You know, they're neglected and they're abused. And as I say, if these were children, the people would be outraged.